Oh, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. Are you supposed to do a bogus together? Yeah, and you guys should do it for two years even afterwards. Yeah, but then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would do it. Yeah. No, it's a very. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any reason to why, but it's a very unhealthy case, <laughs> which means to me. It's got to be a reflection more of the policy of the people, not the people themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like the, I don't know. Mm. Well, yeah, this is a little bit of a clue, isn't it? Mildly horrific. I'm not really an outdoor person. Okay. You know. Well, yeah, but that would be the... So you had no choice in that camp. That's right. I know. Yeah. yeah. No, no, his daughter was in there last week. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Suggesting. Yeah. 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 I was interested to make it like poetic and lyrical, but to tie in his... It's hard to say. Oh, really? There's one of my best friends, one of my colleagues. Less Twitter. Less. Ha! I filmed you before you filmed me. Conversation. Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. It's nice to be out here. Yes, it is. You obviously listened to the feedback from last year, which said more time outside. Yes. Here are the beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. How are you? I'm well, how are you? Well, I'm really well. Did I hear this is the only sign we're going to get for a few days. It's a bad big chunk. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that Craig and Kennard went to Chile? Yeah, for sure. Here you go. You can also join. It's not like... <laughs> Maybe you have to do a video of this just to watch Lucas eating yeah. a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how Dutch people eat bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to make it so oranges. ethnic? <laughs> 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 so it's a superb display behind them at home. <laughs> <laughs> They're interacting with an exotic <laughs> tropical fruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Today is our ethnographic <laughs> outing. Maybe three Maybe steps back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see everyone from the ground. Okay, I'm going to lean on your there. shoulder. Sorry. Please come. To you. Every year they lose. Do we have to get three people? Will you guys right here come fill in this little hole right over by Ravi? Everyone there. outside of Anselm. Please? How about we go Fine. behind? See that way. No, there's no room back there. Or you can go by Susan. A couple of yeah, yeah, just come up here. Yeah, I'm going to go on Sweet. Sweet. I actually can get that. Wait, I can just stick my head through the tree. Perfect. Go like this, Susan. You're so much more than a summer. All right, guys. Yeah, Everyone look over oh, here. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. So, totally different species to species. And I mean, we're, we're focusing this down on, on one species. Um, I mean, I know Daniel is working on the, on the monarchs, and those are going up and down North America, basically. Basically, so that's a, a huge, a huge range. The ones that we're working on, they only live for maybe two, three weeks, and the limits of their range are one meadow that they happen to be in. Maybe if they're lucky, they can sort of hop up and over some trees that are blocking them in, or they'll get up onto some wind that blows them somewhere else. But it's pretty random, and they don't move that far for what we're doing. What's it called? So we're working on a species. I'll, I'll show it to you when we get up there. It's called the Alpine Apollo. Yeah, it's a swallowtail butterfly. It's a big white, white butterfly. Alpine Apollo. Alpine Apollo, yeah. yeah the great sure enough. Are we right near the Nordic school? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, actually there are, like Finland is kind of the mecca for, for uh, butterfly research. And so there are a bunch of species very similar to this that they research up in, in Finland. So yeah, definite Scandinavian element. So what we will be is like moving, we are, we'll be moving meadows for the butterflies and make a shuttle for them from one meadow to another with these kind of backpacks. Um, in here we fill some soil. And then from the outside, we will uh, pick some flowers that they like and add them here, put them on. And then we will make different form try different formations through the different forest. Um, like if we work in a cluster or if we work like in segments to make like stepping stones for them. Or yeah, we just cross the forest back and forth and try it that they follow us. And so I have seven of these, we will have to take I'd turns, and some are a bit longer, some are a bit shorter. And also, <laughs> we have these little booklets for you, um, these are like journals for you to take notes, and also, so, um, 
yeah, first you prepare the bag and then here you see what the butterfly is like um, also the stone crop, one of their favorite foods and if you want to color it, you can pick some flowers and rub it on it <laughs> um, then here's different formations, so if you have ideas for formations we could walk, you can make a drawing and then suggest it um, and you can draw your path that you are walking from your butterfly perspective so if it's like zigzag or will be nice later to compare everybody's path and there's space lots of space for um, other observations and drawings of flowers or other nature studies you want to add here or strange behaviors you observed of the butterflies or Sorry, of people and then I, in the end I would like to collect them all because you would like to present them all together at this last um, evening uh, the tape party and also then I would like to have them for documenting the whole thing and have everybody's drawings included so um, just I, start from here Will this be used as data? And if it's used as data, it's I did that. You look like you could live here, Chris. I well, in Compton, she doesn't even necessarily call herself an artist, it's just like in her blood, right? right? So she's got a very, I think that's what's kind of cool about her, is she's not too worried about booking gigs and getting artist presentation ideas and mm. the sort of circuit. She's just living it. Yeah. So it doesn't look like there's any attempt to Harp this in or anything. It's it's not like sweat lodge type material. That would be sweat lodge type material. Seriously. These stones don't really look like that from around here. Yeah, crazy. It's beautiful. Pretty amazing. Here, yeah, look at this, the bark ties. A little more rolling, a little out left where the place kind of break off. Yeah. Alright, I'm watching Marty do instructions. You knew Marty. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, she asked me to come out in October. They're doing a three-day skills workshop for people that they, that they support. And she wants me to come out and do the internet stuff. Um, so I guess I'll get it. See ya. And I want to find out more about their residencies, too. Because after... I got a lot of work to do over the next six months with this. She wants to be a house. Yeah. Independent media center that I'm building for the 2010 Olympics. And the, the, what is that in relationship to W3? W2. W2, um, sorry. I'm on the board of directors of W2, and W2 is in charge of it. I've seen him at Bam the last couple of years at the television festival. And then this year, it was um, a 30 something woman sex and dating uh, show called like. Woohoo! <laughs> Chris Craig the Viking! Yes, very. Oh, shit! on themselves. <laughs> Wave! You are interactive streaming, yes. Mm 
Okay. Now's the tricky part. So these flip phones are just camera, like they're not a still camera, they're just a video camera? Yeah. Okay.